Hello Capricorn, this is your daily read for July 27th. Take what resonates, leave the rest. Alright Capricorn, what do we have for you for today? Spirit, what do you have for my Capricorn babies for today? Alright Capricorn, so here's the dealio. I am going to be uploading August videos. Um, so you can see what the month is going to bring for you. The month of August. I'll be uploading those hopefully today, maybe tomorrow, but it will be before August 1st. You got a whole chunk load of fucking cards, and we're going to do it. Okay. So we do have the Ace of Pentacles. We have the Knight of Wands. Could be dealing with the Fire sign. You don't have to be. Fire is Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries. We have the High Priestess. We have the Tower. We have the Five of Swords. Bottom deck energy is the hanged man. You don't know what to do about this yet. You could be dealing with the Pisces. Okay. So you're wanting a new beginning that is very strong. Um, you want a foundation. You want something that's kind of set in stone. You want something that's reliable. You want something that's not going to keep going back and forth. You want something that's not going to sway in the wind. Okay, so that is your focus. Your focus is having something that is secure for you. You're like, I want the security. I want to know that this is going to be there for me. I want to know that it's going to happen. And if I don't know that, I'm not going to continue with it. I feel like that you could be um, rightfully so a bit stubborn when it comes to um, making sure that you are covered when it comes to a certain situation. Now, this for you, this could be about love, could be about a family member, could be about a friend, could be about work. Take it how it resonates for you. Okay? So, with this Ace of Pentacles, you do want something that's more solid. You want something that's going to be better for you. Something that's going to grow, prosperous, abundant, all of that. You want all the stuff that is solid. Okay? So we do have the Knight of Wands. This is an energy, could be a fire sign, doesn't have to be Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. Um, but it's somebody who embodies this type of energy. Somebody who is very charming, very loving. They are um, carefree. They are uh, funny. I think I already said that. They, they just have a good sense of humor. They're kind of like the life of the party um, type of energy. But they're also a very immature type of energy. I feel like that um, you kind of take them with a grain of salt and you kind of let them, okay, well, they're kind of childlike, so I'm going to leave them in their childlike state. But at the same time, I feel like that you are wanting them to grow up in certain ways. It's like you can keep your childlike ways, but let's make some adult decisions here. Okay, so with the Six of Wands, there is a sense of victory. There's a sense of getting through. Keep in mind, you are winning the round, but not the battle. So everything comes in steps, okay? So I feel like that you have been a very good light or a very good leader when it comes to this person. And I feel like that you show them things that they've never seen before. I feel like that you show them things that they, they weren't capable of even thinking it existed, so I do feel like that you're showing them new things or you're giving them new ideas, um, whatever the case may be. But they are growing because of what you have shown them. We have the high priestess here. You get in your head. You try to balance things out between you and this person. I feel like that you are very solid where they are kind of flighty. Um, and that's what attracts you both to the other. You know, that's what attracts you both to each other. Because you're like, oh my gosh, you know, their energy is awesome. So it's not like you want to change their energy. You just want to, you just want them to be open to understanding that sometimes what they do has consequences when it comes to relationships. You know, sometimes you can't just go up and go and do what you want. Sometimes you have to be that solid adult and stick it through. You have to stick it out. Even when you want to to, to flee 
you can't do it because you have a commitment. I think that you want to you want this person to understand that you can't always just up and go when things get uncomfortable. So with the high priestess, I feel like that you get in your head as to how can I show them the next step? You know, like how can I give them the knowledge? We have the tower moment here. It's not for you to teach them. It's not for you to teach them. I feel like um, you have taken it upon yourself that you wanted to be the teacher. But that spirit is like, you're not meant to be the teacher. You're meant to go through the process. Let them do what they're doing, right? Okay? And let them feel the consequence of what they're doing in the relationship with you or with anything else. So if you're constantly giving them advice, stop giving them advice. Let them learn on their own. You have to let that tower fall. You have to rebuild it. If you want this person to respect you, stop being their teacher. Let them figure it out on their own. If they end up losing you in the process, then they end up losing you in the process. If they end up losing something else in the process, then that's what they end up doing. But with the Five of Swords, you're not totally trusting this person. Like, you don't totally trust them with you. You don't totally trust them with the decisions that they make. You're not totally trusting anything when it comes to this person. So this is why they need to figure it out on their own. So that way you know that they're not doing what you're telling them to do. They're doing what's actually coming from their heart. I feel like that you um, you tend to give them suggestions. This is how you can deal with me. But is it coming from their heart? Or are they just, are they just acting out what you told them to act out? This is where it's going to be kind of hard for you to kind of sit back and watch. But the hangman, it tells me that you have all the knowledge. But you have to keep it to yourself and let this person go through the process on their own on working things out. Stop enabling. Stop enabling, Capricorn. Let's see what energies is around my Capricorn babies. Stop telling them what to do. Stop enabling them. They will figure it out. We have Scorpio, we have Leo, we have Air, which is Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. We have Gemini popping out, and we also have Aries. Bottom deck energy is Pisces, and Earth even popped out there too. So Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So that's what I have for you today, Capricorn. I'm sending you all kinds of love, light, healing, and production. Have a great day, and I will talk to you soon.